you know, there, there are engineers that, that, that design using non-traditional materials and then there's engineers that design using traditional materials. I guess that's what um, separates Stantec from, from some other companies is that we have the technical know-how in order to, uh, to take a project and design using non-traditional methods. I was uh, contacted by the uh, New Brunswick uh, Department of Transportation because uh, they experienced a pretty uh, significant embankment failure. Because the embankment failed, what it did is it caused the foundation soil to be weaker than it already was. That's why we needed lightweight fill. So we looked at many options and, and tire derived aggregate, TDA, uh, was the option that was ultimately uh, selected. During the construction process, my understanding is that the Nova Scotia Transportation Department and um, Recycled Research Fund Board, RRFB, I think they got wind of this project. So they actually flew to the site, uh, to St. Stephen's. They wanted to see for themselves firsthand um, how the province of New Brunswick was using um, this new material. This uh, Ragged Lake project is the, uh, is the first um, um, tire-derived aggregate project of its kind in Nova Scotia. The Halifax Regional Municipality, they were in the process of, of designing a roadway access ramp. So we reviewed it and yes, in fact, we were able to, uh, to design the TDA application for this new roadway. And uh, so because of that, Nova Scotia has adopted uh, tire-derived aggregate as their uh, sole uh, recycling method. There's always, um, you know, a, a supply of recycled tires. And uh, so because of that, finding um, the practical civil engineering applications using TDA, it, it's, it's a sustainable uh, market. The use of TDA in, in uh, um, transportation embankments is something that's going to be new. Provinces across Canada can really benefit uh, from the use of TDA in the sustainability piece. There's going to be um, some really uh, good applications for TDA in the future. Um, so I think the future is very bright. We know um, how to design engineering applications using TDA because we've done it.